stock in Asia are trading mixed this morning as investors are awaiting the upcoming central bank meetings. They are gear gearing up for more dovish signal to push the equity markets higher. Central banks and trade optimism has helped global equities to rally since the beginning of the year. Looking at the quarterly change of the MSCI Asia Pacific Index, the first quarter of 2019 is shaping up to be the biggest quarterly gain since 2012. In the local share market, the ASX 200 is up by six points, supported by the material sector following rising iron ore prices. The index momentarily, momentarily dropped in the red before rebounding higher in the late morning trade. In the FX markets, Brexit headlines dominated the morning trade after the UK Parliament Speaker demands significant change in the Brexit deal for a third vote. The UK press reported that the Prime Minister Theresa May is to seek for a Brexit extension of 9 to 12 months. The sterling pairs take a few pips higher. However, the news was not enough to decisively move the GBP USD pair, which is currently trading in a tight range. The Australian dollar lost some ground against the US dollar. After the RBA speech, the housing data and the central bank minutes were released. The minutes did not bring any surprises, but did acknowledge the significant uncertainties to the economic outlook. House prices fell more than expected in the fourth quarter and continue to be the main source of concern for the RBA. Thank you for your time. Please do follow us on our Twitter page for more updates on the markets.